Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And today I'm going to be talking about triangulation using a map and compass. And what that means is finding your location on the map. Now this is assuming that you know how to do two things. First off, interpret and understand a topographical map as it relates to your surroundings, as well as set the declination on your compass. Those are two different subject matters. I'm not going to cover them now. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. Don't mind me, the bugs are terrible here today. Triangulation simply means that you take your map, you identify two uh, landmarks on the map, and then you take a bearing off of those landmarks. One over here, one over here, it doesn't really make any difference. As long as you have a clear sight and know how to do this method, you can find your location. But whatever landmark you're using, uh, whether it's a building or a cell phone tower, or I like to just use hills and mountains because they're easy to identify on the map and they hardly ever get moved. I mean, nobody's going to be moving mountains anytime soon. So even though my topographical map might be 50, 60 years out of date, it's still pretty accurate. Now, in order to do this, obviously, like I said, you have to have the declination set on your compass. The first thing you want to do is align your map to true north and you do that simply by setting the edge of the compass up against one of the north south lines on the uh, map and simply rotating the whole thing until the needle indicates true north it's very very important that you do not move your map at this point now, the principle here is, is that you take a sighting, a bearing, you try to figure out what the direction is to your landmarks from you. And you do this by turning your compass this direction so you can read the, the, the uh, dial, as well as you can see through this little hole right here. Now, I tried over and over again to actually go out into the field and do this, and the wind's coming up, so I'm going to just set my watch here so this doesn't move. I tried doing this out in the field, holding my camera, trying to get you to see what I need you to see to understand it. The lighting is terrible. I just didn't have time. For whatever reason, I just can't do it. I'm not Steven Spielberg. I'm not George Lucas. I can't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake this a little bit and use a little animation. I'm going to use this image that I took somewhere out west. I don't remember exactly where, but a while back I went and found the topographical map that matches that. And so we're going to pretend I'm standing on this map. And I'm going to use a little animation, and hopefully you'll understand what I'm talking about. But what I need to do is sight through this little opening down here. And there's a little notch down here in the bottom that allows me to get very, very precise. There's also a line straight up and down on this mirror. I need to make sure that that line is in the middle of the reflection of my compass dial. That way I can get a very accurate bearing as to what landmark I'm using to do this, triangula to do this triangulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the compass out. And I'm, and I'm going to blow the bugs out of my face first off. I'm going to turn it, and you have to remember that I'm reading this backwards. I'm looking at the dial in the mirror, so I have to learn how to read these numbers backwards. And as I line up the landmark in this opening, and at the same time making sure that line bisects the middle of my dial, I then read the reading, and in this case, it's 288. Okay? Now all I need to do is come down here to my map, and from that landmark that I know where it's at, I'm going to put my pencil right on that landmark. I'm then going to put my compass up against the pencil, and then I'm simply going to turn it until it reads 288. Now I'm going to draw a line through those, okay? That gets me that direction, that vector, that line, that imaginary line between me and that uh, landmark is now transferred here to the map. I'm also going to do it with this landmark over here. I'm going to hold my compass up. I'm going to turn it. 
until I lined it up with a little notch here in that opening and my line is bisecting the compass and that says 250. So now I'm going to repeat the process with the other known landmark. Put my pencil up against it and then simply turn my dial until it reads 250. Draw another line and where those two lines intersect that's my location. Very, very simple to do. Like I say, I'm sorry about the bugs here. They're terrible. It's very, very important that you understand, learn, practice, and become proficient at this. Yes, we have cell phones and GPS units and dedicated devices that will show us on this very map on a screen right where we're at. But knowing how to do it old school, the old fashioned way, can be very, very valuable and maybe save your life someday. So this is Backpack Hack. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail. You'll know where you're at.